Okay guys, so today we're gonna be playing Call of Duty. Yay, man. This game is just so much fun. I'm, I mean like, wow. I just enjoy playing the same game with the same old mechanics for 15 years. But this time, this time, we have a battle royale. That, that's right, a, a battle royale. This is something that you have not experienced before. You know, I wish, I, I wish there was some other games that I could play. Put down the RPG. Put down the MOBAs, the, the first person shooters. In fact, grab your dog, you know, find him. Put him down too. The only game you need to play, the only thing that you need in your life is Lethal League Blaze. You know, whenever people search for games nowadays, they're like, I, I want good graphic. I want Assassin Creed. So, you know, I, I can understand why a game that's characters look like a third grade art project would be so non-mainstream. Uh, but I also can't. There's almost never a perfect balance between a game being casually fun to play and at the same time skill expressive. Give too much to the fun to play side and you reduce the potential for the pro scene. Give too little to the fun to play side and your game becomes you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. I need to let everyone know how bad they are. Fuck man. Go, go learn how to actually play the bra- uh, blah. A game with just uh, an extremely toxic community. I've only found two games with perfect balance. The first one being Smash Bros. And the second one being this game. Lethal League. <laughs> Lethal League kinda reminds me of Pong. But like, more hardcore. You know, instead of hitting the ball back and forth and trying to get it past your opponent, you aim for the fucking head at 3 trillion miles per hour and just watch as their life force dissipates within seconds. The basics of the game are hit, bunt, and throw. Hitting the ball between an opponent makes it faster. The faster the ball, the more hit lag it has when you hit it back. Bunt slows down the ball and then allows the next hit, whether from the bunter or the receiver, to have no hit lag. Uh, throw allows you to grab the ball and, you know, well, well, throw it in a chosen direction. And along with this, every character has their own ultimate move that they're able to use. Believe it or not, these three main aspects, though, though simplistic and easy to pick up, they make the game fun. There's no other way to describe the gameplay than just pure fun. It's exhilarating, it's extreme, it's fast paced. The amount of terror and joy you experience hitting back a ball that's coming at you at supersonic speed. The amount of terror and joy you experience when your opponent hits back that same ball at an even faster speed. A, a ball so fast that it's changing and warping the atmosphere around you. It, it just feels so fulfilling. That is when you're playing online. Almost every game with online matchmaking has AIs that feel either underwhelming or just unrealistic and unfair. In Blaze Blue, you put the bots on the highest difficulty, you mop the floor with them. In Call of Duty, you put the bots on the hardest difficulty, you know, uh, veteran mode. Uh, you're here, the bot is here. You inhale oxygen for 0.3 seconds, you're dead. Lethal League is more on the underwhelming side where offline the bots you face are just complete idiots that, that, you know, once the ball goes past a few miles per hour, they just roll over and die. And then afterwards, they come back in the game with a stupid ass, nice, nice job. Meanwhile, online, you have these 5,000 IQ elephant brain mammoths that have foreseen all of your attack possibilities. They're like, oh, Oh, I see you enjoy existing. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Some games got so bad and one-sided. I started getting delusional and having hallucinations. Like, how was this man predicting all of my... Hold on. Is that the showering guy? Now speaking about godlike players, Lethal League, though it's easy to pick up as it may be, I recommend playing with friends or playing in normals three months before you hop on rank. By far, one of the most questionable ranking matchmaking systems that I've seen. I hopped online, uh, g guess what rank I was? 18,000 something. My opponent's rank? 
1,000 something. So, so my very first rank game, I, I got to face someone that was 18 times better than me. Not a problem, all right? But, but the strangest part about it was that after I lost, because of course I lost, my rank went up by half, 9,000 something. Uh, I I'm not upset. I just want to know what exactly is, is going on with this system. You know, is it because I was able to take one of the stocks away, though I was relatively new? Do new players in general go up a rank after their first game? Are there over 9,000 accounts on Lethal League that don't play rank mode and playing just one rank game rank me above them by default? The world may never know. Now you guys all know how much I enjoy pay to win bullshit you know how much i enjoy when a game releases half of the product and then expects you to pay even more later now that's the only thing that i disliked about this game was that there was no dlc or pay to win aspect how is it fair that someone with the iq of a kfc ketchup pack is unable to beat me after they retrieve their mother's credit card how is it fair that you're not asking me to pay more money for something I've already paid for. How is it fair that I have to win and unlock features in the game through actual skill and not by being an incompetent piece of shit that has money and uses it to simulate a sense of accomplishment? And for that reason, I gotta give this game a 0 out of 10. Hey yo bro, this is like just the best music ever. It's so good. So I'm not even gonna show you the music, bro. You don't, you, you don't even deserve to even hear the good music. I recommend this game to any and everyone watching. Uh, it can be a party game that you just play with your friends. It can be a game that you devote hours into and climb to the top of the leaderboard. Uh, this game has a 10 out of 10 on Steam, and you should see for yourself why that is. And I wish I could be that guy, you know? The type of person that can never admit when he's found something good. The type of guy that has to pretend to be all sophisticated and above everything and everyone else. Oh, I saw that I got a 10 out of 10 on Steam. Well, I don't want to be just another voice in the crowd, so uh, maybe I'll give it an 8 out of 10 or, or a 9 out of 10 instead. No, th this game is literally a 10 out of 10 game. Those reviews are accurate. I'm not sponsored by this game or anyone associated with this game, but please buy this game. It's really good, it's only $20, and it feels good to support a team of people with good ethics. I'm sure even if this game did make DLC, it'd be super reasonable. Lethal League, 10 out of 10. Good job. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let me check this mic. Yeah, this mic looking good. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers, yay! And also, I just wanna say, you know, uh, thank you to all my patrons for the financial support. Uh, I know you're wondering, you know, how the hell is it possible that I'm uploading two weeks after my last upload and, and not two years? Well, that's because shortly after telling everyone in my latest video that I was making no money off of my videos because YouTube has yet to review or, well, finish reviewing my channel, everyone literally dumped their life savings onto me. So, yeah, thanks for that. So, thank you to Raddy Cola, Sarun15, Warwolf King, a YouTube friend of mine, Caden Cruz, aka Zerk. AKA, I bet 50 bucks my card is gonna decline at the first of the month like it did last time until you ban me for it, Cruz. Uh, my, my boy, Rennie Paid, uh, Alex Brosamo, Moody Blues, Lucky Beast, Aiden, Marloni, and uh, Supreme Saiyan. And of course, as always, my boy, J Bones. No, he's not in the uh, video game tier, nor is he giving more than the people here, but he was my first patron, and I always will be thanking you in every single uh, video game review, you know, video that I make. So thank you, J Bones. All right, bye and thanks. Have a good night.